So we're gonna talk about whining, dog whining. A lot of dogs whine, and it's a really difficult behavior to get rid of. A lot of people have anxiety nowadays. A good portion of the population has anxiety. A good portion of the dog population also has anxiety. And whining comes from separation anxiety or just anxiety in general. So here's why, here's how you have to think about whining. And, and this is the problem with it and why it's so difficult to get rid of. And I've dealt with so many dogs that have it and there's no trainers like, yeah, I can get rid of whining. And here's why, because it's an admitted behavior, not an elicited behavior, it's admitted. So it just comes from them. It just comes out of them as they're anxious. They're not choosing to do it. If you were crying, because you were very, very sad, and I said, stop crying. You're like, I'm, I can't, I, it's, a, it's an emotion. Whining is an emotion coming out of the dog. It's not like barking or sitting or staying. Those are behaviors that they're choosing to do. Whining is not a behavior they're choosing to do. It's just coming out of them. So how do you correct a behavior that a person or animal isn't really doing, or they don't know they're doing it? You can't do it. You can't, you can't operantly deal with whining. You just can't do it. It's impossible. You can punish a dog so that they no longer, so that they feel differently, but the only way to change the behavior is to make them fundamentally feel different. That's not operant. That's a whole nother thing. And that's hard to do with whining, okay? You really can't, can't, can't get rid of it that way. So here's how you're gonna get rid of it, okay? to the best of your ability. One is exercise. Exercise and mental stimulation. Okay, so if they have all this energy to whine, let's get that energy out. Let's run and play and be happy and be stimulated and do all those things. Just like you, if you're anxious and you went and ran four miles, it would bring your anxiety down from 90% of the population. Okay, same with dogs. The other way is chew toys. I've talked about chew toys on these videos many times. So instead of letting them sit there and just be anxious and whine, have them sit there and chew on that Costco bully stick or that marrow bone or that uh, fish skin from Honest Kitchen. Some of those really good dog products. Let them do something else with their energy, okay? And then really the third thing, those are the big two. The third thing is, is smaller. It would be like thunder vests or um, thunder vests or like scents or like just even like sitting with your dog and like massaging them, just kind of making them feel better would be another one. And the last one is a final resort. And I've never recommend this to somebody because whining is just an annoyance. I don't think medication needs to be uh, usually done for it unless there's destructive behavior, but you could do medication. See a vet and get into anti-anxiety meds. But really, most people aren't going to do that. So again, whining, you got to be patient. You got to do those big picture stuff, exercise, chew toys. But be patient with your dog because they are simply not choosing to do the behavior. So you getting mad at them for doing the behavior does nothing or almost nothing. Okay? So good luck.